In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install and use Omnistream recipient. And this is gonna allow you to receive and preview your Omnistream feeds. Again, this works only on a corporate license. Plus, if you wanna output your live feed to SDI, you're gonna be able to do that as well using Omnistream recipient. However, there's a little catch to be able to use SDI out. You're gonna need a Blackmagic deck link duo card installed on your computer but don't worry i'm gonna show you how it all works in this video so let's not take much time let's get right into it what is going on guys my name is sam with omnistream here so the first thing i'm gonna show you how to actually install omnistream recipient application now again since this is only available for corporate licenses okay so once you sign up for your license, you're going to receive and for your login credentials. And at the same time, you're going to receive the file that you're going to need to be able to install recipient. So now the file is going to look like this with this little icon. And what you got to do is just click on it. Just going to go ahead and go through the installation process. Okay. And it's going to open. All you need to do, go ahead and accept all the license agreement. Click next. And you want to make sure you check create a desktop uh, shortcut click next and then click install and then make sure you uncheck launch omnistream recipient because if you don't have any everything configured you don't want to launch it right away so we're gonna go ahead and actually just uncheck this option and then hit finish now once you're done installing as you can see you're gonna have two applications or two icons on your desktop the first one if i click on it is actually this one that says omnistream recipient config so basically this is this is where we're gonna configure everything and the second one is going to be the Omnistream recipient. All right. Actually, this is the actual application where we're going to be able to preview our Omnistream feeds. And of course, you're sending SDI out. Everything goes through Omnistream recipient. Okay. So basically, this is like the D application. And then this is just like the settings part of it. So next up, we're going to go ahead. The first thing you need to do all the time before you open Omnistream recipient, you want to make sure you go to Omnistream recipient config or configuration because that's where we're going to set up everything once you open it as you can see you have three tabs the first one is the the main tab so basically this is where you're going to be able to actually log in from the second one is going to be your output or ff play okay so this is where we're going to be basically receiving i'm going to show you that in a minute but this is where we're going to kind of paste in our unique ids from the outputs in our dashboard and uh, again, if you don't know how to use a dashboard, I have a video that I made about the dashboard and how it works. I'm going to link it down below for you guys if you want to check it out. And then the, the other tab is the, the advanced tab. Again, I'm going to show you what we can actually, what we're going to be able to do with it in a minute. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do, obviously, to be able to use it, we're going to go ahead and actually log in because at the end of the day, to be able to communicate, with your device and of course with your dashboard you want to make sure you use your credentials that you received in the omnistream email when you sign up so you want to make sure you log in into your omnistream configuration for recipient and on your dashboard as well you want to make sure you actually logged in and on your device the person using the device has to be logged in of course using the credentials that they got from omnistream okay again this works well i mean only works for corporate licenses okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and actually log in so the first thing you want to make sure you choose your site again when you uh, when you sign up for the first time you're gonna receive a site so mine is actually us7 okay and then next thing we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and click store dashboard credentials now where it says custom address you can actually ignore it this is mostly for omnistream stuff so you don't need to worry about it but for actually for us, all we need to do is we're going to go ahead and click store dashboard credentials. OK, and then you're going to go ahead and actually enter your, you know, login information. So for me, I'm just going to go ahead and actually enter mine. OK, so right now I'm actually logged in. No problem. OK, the next thing you need to do, you actually going to go to your dashboard. Make sure you logged in again. Mine is already logged in and I also have my application. I'm logged in and it's actually open. So just if you don't know, this is a 
mirror of my device, which is my device right here that's running OmniStream. So this is my phone and it's actually running OmniStream. So, so whenever you see it on screen, I don't want you to be confused. Actually, this is really the OmniStream application running on my phone. This is just a mirror on my screen just to be able to capture it and actually show it on video. Now, remember, the main goal of OmniStream recipient application is to grab the stream from OmniStream Cloud using detected protocol that was written by OmniStream and display that as an output on OmniStream recipient application, obviously on Windows PC, and display the video SDI out using Blackmagic card or using local preview FF Play. On the top of that, the recipient application can also be be a file storing location for mp4 and mxf files and this is for record and record and play profiles so what we're gonna do is we want to make sure we have our live feed coming again you don't have to be live streaming you don't have to be exporting anything however if you want to let's say you could be live streaming to srt or to omnistream any export actually you, you could be exporting your video to facebook youtube or anywhere you're streaming to any other platform and be able to send the live feed as well back to your PC, no problem. However, if you don't need to stream at the same time, you don't have to do that, depending on what you wanna do with the live feed. Maybe you wanna send it to SDI, which is possible again with recipient. That's really up to you, okay? So what we're gonna do, of course, we wanna make sure we have the live feed uh, coming in. And as you can see, my um my device number one is actually connected we got this green button okay and another thing if i minimize the broadcast details we have our outputs here so we have output one two three four five okay so you want to make sure the feed that's coming from your phone or from your device is actually uh, connected to uh, an output okay so let's say i have this one selected i can go to output here and i can actually connect it to any output that i want again in most cases it makes sense to just connect the feed number one to output number one and hit apply so right now we have our our device number one connected to output number one okay now if you wanted to live stream we can actually you know choose any export that we want maybe what we want to live stream to srt whatever we can do that but for now we probably don't need it okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and actually minimize the broadcast details here and i'm gonna go to output number one here okay and what you can do you can actually click to this icon here and you can if you want you can actually name it if you want you don't have to and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and copy the unique id of this uh, output and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and go to OmniStream configuration, I mean for recipient, okay? And I'm gonna go to outputs and I'm gonna go ahead and actually paste, uh, I'm just gonna copy uh, Control V on my keyboard and just paste my, my link that I just got from the output number one. You can also use the test FFP play just by, you know, clicking on it and it's gonna show you you know this screen just to make sure it actually works okay you can do that so what you gotta do you're gonna go ahead and actually copy your unique id in here okay and then what you gotta do you're gonna go ahead and actually click confirm and as you can see you're gonna get this message that says changes will take effect on your next startup so this is why you cannot actually open omnistream recipient application before you do all the configurations in here okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and actually click okay and what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and actually minimize everything here. And what I'm going to do, we're going to go to OmniStream recipient now, the actual application. And we're going to go ahead and click to it. Just double click to it. Okay. So once you have it open, it's going to show up here in the system tray. Okay. And then if I go to it and just right click to it, you can see if you want to exit, you can go here just to exit to close. If you want to go to logs, you can go ahead and actually check out what's happening. So this is mostly for, it's kind of advanced, okay? But this is where maybe OmniStream, if you have an issue, uh, OmniStream people are going to be able to check their logs and see what happened, okay? 
you can also go to this icon here again right click and go to where it says speed test now the speed test is a good tool to see the download speed from omnistream cloud recipient pc and as you can see it's gonna give you the results no problem you can also go to again right click to it and go to about so basically it's gonna give you the version of whatever you know whatever version you're running the version of you know omnistream recipient application it's gonna give it to you as well so that's pretty much it so now recipient is actually running and if i go back to my dashboard here okay and what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go ahead and click this play button okay and see if we can actually get a feed back into recipient so as you can see now i have a full screen preview as soon as i click that play button as you can see really i'm gonna get a full screen preview okay again i do recommend you have like multiple monitors when you're running omnistream recipient because that's where you probably have one monitor kind of managing everything the dashboard and everything and then you can have another monitor kind of display a full screen preview of whatever feed that you actually choose to preview now i know that i said that this is mostly useful for being able to preview of course and being able to send this out which is going to be something that i'm going to show you in a minute how you can actually configure it to be able to send it out to sdi out of course again you're gonna need to have the black magic deck link duo i mean it could be the duo or any black magic deck link card that supports of course it has to be sdi and with that you can actually export directly from omnistream recipient to sdi out and then with sdi out, you can actually do whatever you want maybe you have an sdi switcher that you can send that feed into and mix with other feeds maybe you're running a broadcast you're gonna be able to do that okay but with this feature actually being able to have a full screen preview you can actually be able to do something like let's say like right now i use my atm mini which is an hdmi switcher if your computer has an hdmi multiple hdmi out you can actually connect an hdmi out from your computer into the atm or any hdmi switcher and you're gonna be able to get that feed actually full screen into your hdmi switcher that's another way of doing it again this is a hack uh, this is not what you know omnistream recipient is supposed to do but i just wanted you guys to know that it's actually possible all right again it's gonna come in full screen if you wanna kind of minimize it you can actually hit windows and one of the arrows and you're not you actually gonna be able to minimize the feed you can even move it to a different screen as you can see and then with that i'm sure you have you know unlimited possibilities when it comes to what you can do with this live feed so again guys as you can see i can move it put it to any screen that i want and i'm gonna be able to do with do whatever i want if i just want to preview it it's just gonna be for preview but if you wanted to send it over sdi out okay uh, if i go to you know the black black magic website again you can see if you go to under uh, products slash deck links you can see some of the sdi deck links we got sdi at uh, deck link sdi 4k we got the duo 2 we got so you you have so many deck link you can actually choose from okay and these are going to be installed on your computer and uh, they're going to actually be able to help you kind of route any output into sdi again you would need to go into configurations and go to output and then under output you're gonna be able to route any feed or any kind of output coming from omnistream into any sdi output or sdi yeah sdi output on your computer available on your computer which is pretty awesome okay now the next tab i'm gonna show you is called advanced so basically there's not much to do here uh, this is gonna be useful with the function called record and record and play which is gonna be something that i'm gonna cover in a different video so but what it does basically as you can see we have what we call re records kind of path okay this is a path where all the files are going to be written on your computer if you're using that function to be able to record some of the you know uh they say somebody's recording from their device but you want to be able to receive that recording into your omnistream dashboard and 
probably be able to broadcast or if they have like a lower internet connection and they want to be able to send you kind of record locally and be able to upload it slowly and allow you to actually play back the recording with like a kind of longer delay because again they don't have a good internet connection you can actually do that have those recordings kind of stored on your under this path okay on your hard drive on your computer's you know storage and with that omnistream is going to be able to either you want to play them back on your broadcast or you want to be able to actually send some of those recordings into vmix that's possible as well again we're going to cover that in a different video i didn't want to cover everything in one video which is super super interesting you also have what we call designated output preset okay and here you can actually choose your your resolution okay and you can also choose your frame rate so right now i'm, I'm actually uh, getting a 1080p uh, 30 frames per second you know 29.97 fps but if you need 50 frames per second or 60 frames per second you can actually go ahead and choose that as well everything else you don't have to really worry about it you can just leave it the way it is and that's pretty much it for Omnistream configuration. Now, when it comes to latency, maybe you're worried about what's gonna happen to, you know, things like latency. Latency is gonna be the same as SRT. You can also choose to send a H.265, you know, which is really, really good. Now, whenever you wanna start the preview, all you gotta do is you can actually go to your dashboard and hit this button right here. Just, you know, stop the feed that's going to output number one or whatever output they're using and it's gonna actually stop sending the feed no problem now if you need to make some changes here in the outputs maybe you want to you know bring in a different output okay because again remember if you if i go here to my dashboard i can choose let's say if i have two three live videos coming in i can choose to route any you know any input to a different output right so if i need to make an update maybe bring in output number two instead of output number one put in here you always have to stop okay you need to go back to to recipient just click exit make all the changes that you need to make on the omnistream configuration once you're done you hit confirm and go back to recipient and actually restart the application okay so you cannot make changes live and expect them to take effect back in recipient you always have to kind of restart it to make sure the changes that you actually made are going to take effect if i go back to omnistream dashboard and i go under session here okay under stream and session if i go to profile as you can see, I have this option called record and record and play. As I just say, guys, this is gonna be for a different video, but this is gonna be if you combine this feature, which is really the ability to be able to record on your device and or you could use the dashboard to control the device as usual and be able to combine that feature with Omnistream recipient application. You're gonna be able to do some really, really good stuff and I can't wait to make that video. So if you guys wanna see the video as soon as it's done, it's gonna be linked right here. So make sure you check it out. If you wanna see a full walkthrough of the dashboard, maybe you have never seen it before, I'm gonna link the video that I made about the dashboard right here as well. So make sure you check it out guys and I'll see you next time. Take care.